Right. Hello guys, this is DJ Studios and welcome to my final review of Class uh season one. So uh episode eight we're on now. Uh and what you can tell by my face and my applause that I did enjoy the episode. Um I did have a few problems with it, but I do have mostly good things to say. Um, so I'll, I'll do it from the beginning, basically, of how, how things went on. At the minute, I'm thinking about the ending, which, well, obviously, if you've seen the episode, you know what's coming out. Um, and if you haven't already, make sure that you, you know, watch the episode and then come back and watch this. Uh, so, right at the beginning of the episode, we see that Miss Quill is pregnant. <laughs> Um, now, I've realised that, like, in my head, I just, when I saw that image, I was like, she's, she's pregnant. I'm pretty sure she wasn't pregnant earlier, um, last week. Wait, she actually might have been, and I just didn't notice. Um, because that would have been quite stupid, but I might not have noticed, uh, at the time, but she may have been. Uh, because you can, from the final shot, there's kind of like a lump. I thought that was just like her, her stomach, or like she was very fat, or her shoulder or something. Like, you know, I don't know, it was some kind of weird body part. I wasn't expecting it to be a, uh, you know, a, a pregnant, pregnant, a baby. <laughs> um, and I think that would definitely be be involved in series two. Uh, something that I do want to applaud quickly, you know, again, uh, is the fact that the beginning sequence is pretty cool. Uh, so the title of the epi this episode is called Lost. So April decides to sing a song about Lost. Uh, uh, what? Okay, somehow she's you know a professional singer, such songwriter. And I know that she would you know she had the violin, she would sing songs and things. But I didn't know she did it like she did. I felt like I'd missed something out from the very beginning. Then uh, there's then. One of my predictions that I did in a prediction video uh, earlier, I think it was Thursday, was correct. Um, so there was a shot when we see Ram's hand go through his dad's dust shadow thing. And, yep. Yeah. As I said, uh, you know, when you get killed by the Shadow King, you, again, you, you know, turn into like a dust. Uh, t turn into like a stone figure before you you know, dis disintegrate. So that's that's basically what I saw. It's very quick running. Um, uh, yeah, uh, there's... And that's why I think that entire beginning bit was pretty intense, just to start the episode, before they, even the credits, the opening titles have rolled. Uh, I think it was after the opening titles, the death of uh, Tanya's mum as well, which was pretty devastating, especially Vera, because she's, the, you know, the youngest. I think that's definitely going to affect her character arc. And, oh, wait, it already did. Um, there's... <laughs> um, so, the, there's a part in the episode when I just think, this is not going to end, is it? You know, we get, we're not even going to get a conclusion to the death of the Shadow game. We're literally just going to have a oh, wow, massive decision and the end, you know... Uh, you know what I mean, but we didn't, thankfully. We actually got something pretty, we got something a lot better from that. And that point would have been about when I, I actually t look, turned on my controller again, on my Xbox, and I actually just looked again, just to see how long was left of the episode. I looked at 10 minutes. So, yeah. Uh, so I've had a little, oh my god, this isn't going to end. But uh, a couple of other things was uh, the fact that they're starting to evade, I thought was great. We haven't like had an invasion episode when they're actually, you know, invasion, invasioning, and, uh, you know, they're popping up and they're actually harassing people and harassing people. <laughs> they're actually killing people and things like that, which I didn't actually see them do. They just kind of chased people around. You know, like when you're, like, you're a kid and you play that game, like Bulldog, um, and you kind of just, like, run up and down the you know, playground, it really gets on everyone's nerves because you tend to run into them. Um like people that are just walking by and you you run across like this and there's people in the middle that are trying to take you um that's basically what i imagined just in my head i just like let's play pig you know <laughs> let's play pig um 
Hashtag thumbnail. Thumbnail. Let's play. That's my thumbnail now. Um. Well, maybe not. I might be quite lazy and not do that. But uh, there was. Um. There was a. The, there's a massive decision that Charlie had to make during this was that he would have to kill April and also kill the Shadow King, which he wanted to do, obviously. But I think everyone having their own little revenge that they wanted to get really did help me feel like this episode was intense. You know, I felt like this really mattered to these characters, so it should matter to me, so that it mattered to me. And these characters... Yeah, I, I've got I've got used to these characters over eight eight episodes. I've actually I know their names now. You know, uh, it's like it's like a pet. You like a pet. You have it for about a day and you love it already. Um, so I feel like all of them had actual stakes that you know they, things that were important to them. If how this could have gone could have affected the rest of their lives, which is pretty cool. Um, and oh my god, I'm at six minutes already and I haven't actually got to the final bit yet. Um, so, the death of April, I thought was like, oh, she's not, she's not dead. She's fine. She's not dead. Um, I think she's dead. I actually think she's dead. And Ram spent this entire episode just crying. <laughs> <laughs> like he didn't have any like I'm imagining him not having any um water in his eyes to be able to cry be like come on but come on trying to cry at the end of it. Um But I I feel like that may have been you know, it got a bit distracting it went with the slow motion bits and he's like Bleh. Yeah. Uh, there's, so I probably should get on to the finale. So, there's two endings. It's not like the Lord of the Rings. Yay. Um, so I was expecting maybe an ending and I was like, oh my god, it's going to end here. It's going to end here. Oh no, it hasn't ended here. Oh wait, it's going to, wait, oh, oh, yeah, there we go, it's gone. Actually, technically, there's going kind to of three endings that they could have put in. Uh, so the first one. The big reveal. What are the governors? So the governors, in my head or my understanding of it, is are that they kind of are evil dictator people because they're higher up and that you know symbolizes power. Uh, so they're definitely a lot powerful than everyone else. They kind of have a core like the Time Masters in Legends of Tomorrow. Uh, they look pretty powerful, but they definitely look sinister as heck. Uh, they will kill you. <laughs> Uh, I think they definitely were a massive protagonist of protagonist uh, villain of the next series of class, uh, and also another thing that I notice will be a massive, massive thing for class season two is guys. We haven't seen the Weeping Angels since Angels Take Manhattan, have we? Um, because they're kind of in Coal Hill School. Uh, so, it looks like they've kind of got the same design from Time of Angels episodes, uh, but they, there's this thing rumoured called the Arrival. Uh, what will be the Arrival is not known yet, it will be found out very, very soon, it's all inside of Pat Patrick Ness's head. Um, so we will find out next series, but I'm looking forward to finding out what that is, and obviously they didn't want to set up another series to make you want to watch it, instead of, because... Getting it on there is a lot harder because of its, um, you know, getting it on the TV that way is a lot harder than it just being on and being able to watch it. Um, so you kind of have to have something to entice you into watching it. Um, and finally, the final ending, probably the weirdest ending I've ever seen. Because, um, you know, he, so Ram has the gun in his hand at this time. The Shadow King's getting up. He's got the gun in his hand, and then he just go, and then I just see this face. I'm like, oh my god, please don't say they've switched bodies. This is that's the expression that I see. Guys, what what's the problem? Yeah, so April is now a Shadow King, right? Maybe there's some kind of thing with the gun, so like if 
you shoot it, it kind of splits up into parts, and then, you know, it's like, uh, first episode, the, there's that kid, the guy, whatever, Kevin Williams, I think he's called, uh, he shoots the gun, and then it kills him, and it kills the Shadow King himself, uh, a Shadow King as well. Um, what could happen is the same thing with that, but uh, when Charlie shot the shot, obviously, obviously he doesn't do any switching stuff, uh, so he shot, when he shot, the um when he that looked really weird when he shot uh it went in separated hit or, or hit her went through and hit um hit the shadow king actually that's a better explanation so it hit, it went through both of them and when it went through both of them i think that it went through picked up april and put it into the shadow king and then obviously the shadow king died uh you know came out the other end and died um so thank you very much for you know sitting through me watching talking about class for the past you know eight weeks eight plus weeks no seven plus weeks um i'm very looking forward to series two uh when i when i'll be you know next time i see you talking about class would be probably a trailer or uh, a review of season one itself and i'm definitely buying the dvd when it comes out on the 2nd of january 2017 which i've definitely already looked at um so and i'm going to definitely pre-order it 80 percent sure gonna oh, just move the camera by touching the lens uh and i'm definitely gonna pre-order it when it comes out uh so thank you guys for sticking with me for eight weeks, no, seven weeks, I already just talked about this, uh, and sticking with me for seven weeks, uh, it has been a pleasure making these videos for you, um, and I hope you have definitely enjoyed them as well, obviously you can watch all the other ones in the playlist, which, will, you know, you can see in my channel, uh, there will be a playlist, and I hope to see you next time for a new series of class, goodbye.